Hey everybody, it's your boy Steve Levy here out in Seattle, the great Northwest. It's gonna be an unbelievable weekend. Hopefully it's a good weekend for you. It's an all-time weekend for me. Uh, this is how I normally dress as well. It's obviously different on TV. I like to wear flip-flops whenever possible. Go Kraken, release the Kraken. No Kraken? No Kraken? All right. So we are here for the Kraken tonight. Uh, it's really exciting. As you can see, everybody's fired up about it. Come on in. Here's my home away from home in Seattle for the next uh, three days. I got two suits because we have two big events. Watch yourself on the, on the court here. I do love taking over hotel rooms to set it up for an office. As you can see, it's sort of a combination here. Some from column A, some from column B. So I got some NFL stuff here. Uh, but I am now some six hours away from puck drop tonight. I am focused on cracking Canucks. Don't tell the Chargers I stole this notepad from them. So I got lots of notes over here. This is interesting. This is from a preseason game. We had the Saints in a preseason game. So I'll actually look back to see if we had any really cool stories from the Saints in the preseason game, see if I can factor them into Monday night's game. Um, but right now, hockey is number one. Terrific job. Have a nice game. See you guys. See you guys. Have a good one, guys. Ray, how many times do you get to walk into a building for the first time? Never. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing. This is Ben Boma. He requires a lot of size and space. <laughs> Line of demarcation. Line of demarcation right here. Listen, ceremony's going to be great. The building's going to be unbelievable. Let's just have a great game. How about like 7 6 in overtime? The whole lot of screaming. That'd be awesome. And literally, let us be the first to welcome you to this building. Tonight's not about the hockey game. Tonight is an event. First ever Seattle Kraken home game. Let's go Kraken! Let's go Kraken! Here's Larson, able to swing it across. Doug lets it fly, and he scores! And there's the answer to your trivia question. Vince Dunn. Gets the first ever goal at home for the Seattle Kraken. So I don't want to say one event down, one more to go. Like, that doesn't feel right, you know? Like, these were two all-time events for me. And so let's just say one of them has been completed. Uh, I'll have this forever, but I called the first ever. Seattle Kraken home game, and that's really cool. And uh, we'll see what happens with the 12s on Monday night. Good morning. You're getting me in my natural state. So hockey's totally in the uh, in the rear view now. Uh, I put my hockey stuff to the side. I, I don't save all my credentials, but I will save last night's credential. And now we are we are full on uh, into the football game. It's 11 a.m. local time, and it's time for the graphics meeting. And that's all the cool stuff that pops up on the screen. Uh, information type things, animation type things, uh, everything beyond the football. We got a great crew. Come on over. John, don't be shy here. And you guys don't be shy either. Uh, Phil Dean, that's our producer, the producer of Monday Night Football. He's kind of a big deal. Uh, you see Maddie and Ryan and Brandon. Uh, Sterling is in for John Parlin this week, handling a lot of our research. But Brandon does uh, what we call lower thirds. That's the stats that, that come up on the bottom of your screen. And uh, Ryan sort of has the glamour position, all the cool cartoons that everybody loves on Monday Night Football. This is all things that add to Monday Night Football that make it a special broadcast and uh, just a handful of the special people who help us with this every single week. Uh, I will get everything done before I go to dinner tonight. I tend to eat dinner late, 8, 9 o'clock, because I'm not comfortable leaving my hotel room until everything is done. The only thing I save for Mondays, and it's trickier on the West Coast, because the day is obviously short before we go to the game, I save my highlighting for Monday mornings always. 
and that is just to refresh and reinforce everything I've done all week and make sure I highlighted them in the proper place. So uh, we are well on our way. Wish you all a great Sunday afternoon. Enjoy the NFL. Uh, we've already had our production meeting with the full team, tidy up some last couple notes, and then I'm actually going to shower and get dressed. I will look much better tonight than I do right now. Exactly, back with the flip-flops. Then we'll be whisked off in a massive limousine to the stadium with Greasy and Riddick. And we'll see you over at the stadium. Should be a great game tonight. Closer. I look better. I actually took a shower today and everything. No more flip-flops. Thank you, John. Uh, so we're putting the final final touches on the boards. Go ahead. Try to read anything. Like I said earlier, remember we started out the weekend with a blank board. So now it's all been filled in. Honestly, I can't find anything. And if I could, I can't read my own handwriting. I'm definitely doing this wrong. consecutive game as we welcome you to the progressive Monday night kickoff. All right, so we all agree then. It's a must win for Seattle. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go with you. You can take us down the road. <laughs> Lisa Salters is up next. And then it's the Seattle Seahawks and New Orleans Saints only on Monday night football. Gino takes a shot down the sideline. DK Metcalf is in the game, and he's down the sideline. 84 yards, and that's how the run sets up the passing touchdown. was the perfect setting right for the Seattle Seahawks prime time at home and now for the first time since 1992 they start 0 and 3 at home first time since 2008 they've lost three straight at home we'll talk to you next week from Kansas City uh, it was an all-time weekend for me I appreciate you joining me uh, on my weekend my hockey football doubleheader and that's the end of this particular story talk to you next week from Kansas City